Hey you guys, it's the Gaming Mermaid, and welcome to another episode of The Sims 4 Monster High. So, in the last episode, we got Draculaura pregnant. Draculaura and Claude are now pregnant. Uh, here's Thad. Thad and Claudine are also pregnant. As you can see, Claudine is very pregnant, and she will be in her third trimester in about 15 hours, but we might have to go ahead and have that happen a little bit earlier, because I am really excited to see what the vampire babies will look like. So it looks like she is cooking. She she really has to pee. <laughs> That's what happens when you're pregnant. That's what happens when you're really pregnant. Look at her waddling. So we're going to go ahead and in this episode, we're going to have them give birth so that we can see the vampire babies. So also what I did is that I added Draculaura's parents from my Sims 4 vampire series. I added them into the same household with Vlad and all of that in this game. I did make it in a separate save file so they were not actually in this world with Monster High. But I added Draculaura's parents so that we can possibly meet them uh, once she gives birth to her baby. The problem with that is that I couldn't edit Draculaura for some reason. You can't edit Sims while they're pregnant. Pregnant, so I couldn't actually make Dracula and his wife like the, her actual parents for some reason it wouldn't let me but hopefully once she gives birth then we'll be able to do that and hopefully we'll be able to meet them in this episode as well as you can see that is definitely a vampire as well so we're definitely excited I'm definitely excited to see what these babies will look like so I'm gonna go ahead and just have what is she doing be pop be propositioned oh they're gonna woohoo they're gonna oh in the smelly bush look at that bush it's so smelly and green like do you see that odor oh my gosh really <laughs> really Claudine look how smelly this bush is that's disgusting <laughs> all right well they're gonna have a little woohoo but uh, I guess that's gonna be the fun they're gonna have right now because we're gonna go ahead and have her give birth like ASAP oh no work for that starts in about an hour now the thing is the funny thing is is that he actually works in the hospital as a vampire so he's like around blood at all times which is pretty convenient probably not the best but that's something so they're, they they had a little bit of fun that is great so I'm gonna go ahead and have her just we're gonna go over here to the MC command center and we are going to go ahead I think it's here pregnancy and we're gonna change the pregnancy phase to in labor so that she can go ahead and give birth and we're gonna do the same thing with Draculaura so let's go back and now she has gone into labor look at her she is so big <laughs> oh also, what we should do is go into the buy mode so that we can buy a little bassinet. And since The Sims 4 Vampires did come out, there is a really adorable bassinet. It's called the Ancient Bassinet. And it's like this vampire one. And I think it's so cute. I really love the way they made this one. The details on it are just so adorable. What color should we get for Claudine? I mean, I, I think we should go with the purple theme. You know, she's got the purple and orange theme going on. Or maybe we should go for this one. I think this one looks really nice as well. Well, where should we put it uh, they don't have like specific bedrooms because <laughs> I never really uh, pay much attention to that maybe we should put it in the kitchen that way uh, our baby is around food at all times hopefully maybe maybe uh, so I'll go ahead and put it right there let's go back to the live mode and uh, we need to go ahead and give birth so before he, he, he goes to work, let's have our baby at the hospital. And we are going to hopefully have Thad Vampire join her. Uh, I guess she's going to go ahead and eat something or not. Okay. I think what um, you guys have been telling me is that you need to actually check in. And I literally never check in. I always like, I'm like, why does it take so long? <laughs> like they're having lunch and stuff while they're like going into labor. I didn't realize that you had to actually check in. So let's go ahead and check this out and see if that's what we actually have to do because I don't actually know <laughs> all right great we have bills are you serious right now we have we owe 8,000 simoleons how many small oh okay okay we'll be able to afford that she is in labor she's hungry she's revolting bush yeah that was a pretty disgusting bush that like seriously talk about no standards but anyways let's go ahead and Oh, why is she sad? <laughs> um, okay, we're gonna go ahead and check in. But first off, first off, I need... Oh, no! Oh, no, I think he's burning. His skin is burning from the sun. So we're gonna have to go ahead and have him go inside as quickly as possible. I just want to take some screenshots really quickly. 
Oh, she's so sad. And uh, this looks to be our doctor. He's like always our doctor, so no surprises there. Let's go ahead and check in. Let's see. Aha! <laughs> I've literally never done this. Check in at the front desk. So let's have her go ahead and do that. There she goes. She Look at him. He's like so scared. She's just like, come on, Thad. It's not that big of a deal. We just have to check in at the hospital. So let's check this out. Hey, hi, I am very pregnant. Okay, let me go ahead and check your files. We don't have time to check files right now. She needs to go ahead and give birth. That's what she needs to do. You're answering phone calls. Why? We need to check in. Look, she's in pain. Why is Thad just standing there awkwardly like now she's hungry? Oh, really? Really? Oh, <laughs> she's like, I'm in a lot of pain. Can I please check in? Why are you taking so long? What kind of files are you looking at? You're looking at nothing. That is off to work. No, absolutely not. Absolutely not. But where is he? He's supposed to be here. Oh, Laguna is here. Laguna is at work. She is a nurse. Where is Thad? Absolutely not. He is not even here. Oh, no. Oh no, this is not good. I definitely checked in. Oh, now she's going real hardcore. Excuse me, ma'am. You're taking way too long. Can we please check in? That would be great. Can you please do some fancy like keyboard typing and check me in? Like, excuse me, ma'am. I, I know you're busy writing emails, but uh, this is kind of an emergency. I need to give birth. I'm actually doing what you guys <laughs> told me to do. Like, I'm actually trying to check in. She's in a lot of pain, and this girl is too busy writing emails to her loved one, her secret admirer or something. She's like, oh, I'm just writing emails about the party I'm going to have tonight. Like, no, we don't have time for that. Look, it won't even let me. It won't even let me check in. Are you serious? And Thad isn't even here. Look at him. He's like super ag aggravated. This girl, like, are you serious? Can we get a new like front desk person? Because she's clearly not working out. She's clearly not working out. Excuse me, ma'am. Like, I'm trying. Like, I'm really trying to actually like get this to work. Can we like just go here? No. Can Where's the doctor? Where did the doctor go? Laguna, can you help me, please? Can we really not do anything with her? She can't help us at all. Wow. Okay, seriously, Thad, you need to go ahead and leave work early. We do not have time for this. Thad, come over here. No, Thad, you need to come over here, please. I'm begging you. No. Can we? Since we're still waiting. Can we invite him? No. The Sim is at work. No, he is not. He is out of work now. Oh no, this is a disaster. Right, I'm not sure what's going on, so I think I'm gonna go ahead and try to redo this because it's clearly not working. Okay, what I think I'm gonna do instead is have Thad actually go to work first. That way, we don't have those glitches. I think that's what happens when you try to bring someone in that's supposed to go there for work. So we're gonna try to do that instead. So let's check this out. He has work in about three hours. He works from 7 a.m. till 3 p.m. So once 3 p.m. hits, he will be able to go ahead and watch his wife give birth to a vampire baby. So that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna just go ahead and have this, um, just speed up a little bit, and then uh, once once he goes starts going to work, I will be right back with you guys. What are they doing? They're gonna chat. So, oh, that's right. We owe eight thousand simoleons. So let's go ahead and check that out. Oh, this is a fancy looking mailbox. I've never seen this before. What? Let's go ahead and pay our bills, Claudine. All right, finally he is back home from work. Let's have you go inside before you burn up. So let me have him fly here as a bat. Let's see, he's doing pretty all right. Let me just go ahead and have him sleep a little bit. And then, oh gosh, that is disgusting. Let's go ahead and sell that. Uh, and uh, once he gets up, then we will go to the hospital. <laughs> Hopefully this time it will actually work. All right, finally. Oh gosh, she's gonna puke. Oh no. <gasps> All right. Um, let me see if we can go ahead and just have this happen right now. We're gonna go over to the pregnancy mod. We're going to go to pregnancy phase in labor. So now she is in labor. Hopefully, I believe she's still gonna puke. Actually, I'm very curious to see what that looks like. I don't think I've ever seen that before. Is somebody sleeping in there? Um. Uh, something's happening in there, and, uh, I don't know who's in there. Who, who is this? Who is this? Oh, Skeleta. <laughs> well, 
Okay, uh, she's in labor, so let's go ahead and have her go to the hospital, please, please. No, Claudine, please stop moving. We're gonna have you have, have baby at the hospital and join, and that is done with work, so he should be able to join you this time. Hopefully, we can actually check in, because as you guys saw, I did actually try to check in, and it wasn't working. I think my game was glitched, because that was supposed to be working there, but he couldn't, because he had to, yeah. Anyways, let's see if this will work this time. All right, Willow Creek Hospital. Here is Thad being super scared as usual. And here is Claudine being super sad as usual. So no surprises there. Now let's go over here and they, they better work this time. Check in at front desk. This better work this time. Excuse me, ma'am. Oh my God. Okay, please. Excuse me, ma'am. Can you actually do your job? I am serious this time. I'm not playing around. She better... Yes, we have a room right here. The romance festival is in town, but we're, uh, we kind of already did our romance and, uh, we gotta give birth now. Excuse me, ma'am. Did you actually, did we actually get our check-in? Please. Look at this lady just walking in here. Oh my gosh, I'm serious. Like, if this doesn't work, I'm going to be very upset. Laguna is back over here as the nurse and our, um, doctor... Let's see if we can do a friendly introduction. I guess we'll go ahead and try to get to know everybody. Oh, she's actually walking. Oh, finally. Oh, thank goodness. Okay, so we don't have to do this anymore. We are going to go ahead and go into our room. Now, hold on before you start doing that. Dad, stop watching TV. He's watching, like, action, sports, and all this. Fly as a bat. And come over here, please. <laughs> oh, we're in a different room. I've always, like, honestly, I've always had the baby births in this room. I've never been in this room before. <gasps> well, are we getting downgraded? Because this is a smaller room, but I've never been here before, so I'm actually excited. Okay, look at Claudine. Aw, she's so cute. Where is Thad? Okay, thank you, sir, for finally showing up. You're, you're, you're facing the wrong way, Thad. You're facing the wrong way. <laughs> Okay, Dad, please face your wife. No, don't just fly. Just, you know, like, like, you know, like, just look at her. Just look at her. Maybe you could talk to the to gush about partner. Why don't you get to know the doctor a little bit, you know? Just, you know, face the correct way so it looks like you actually care. That would be- <gasps> Oh my gosh! Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. <gasps> okay, well, that is her heart. That is definitely her heart. <laughs> I really, look at, <laughs> that is like, oh my god, I'm about to pass out. Okay, moment of truth. Here we go. It's a boy. <gasps> oh my god. Okay, so what should we name our new baby boy? Um. Okay, so one of my suggestions was from It's Just Brie, and she said dawn for a girl and dusk for a boy, so like dawn and dusk, and I thought that would have been really cute. I don't know if she is pregnant with twins or whatever, but I think that would be a really cute name if they had like one was a boy named Dusk and one was a girl named Dawn. So I'm going to go with Dusk Vampire as our baby name. So here she is. <gasps> wait, wait, that was definitely a second baby. What? Okay, well, that was weird. Okay, wow. So here is our new baby boy, Dusk, with this little monkey onesie. He's looking super cute. I think it's interesting. His eyelids are actually very dark. Like, he already has, like, blackened uh, eye circles. That is really weird. Okay, let's go ahead and check on Claudine. She is looking, she's actually looking really happy right now, so that is great. That looks like he's about to attack the doctor. That is great, I guess. All right, all right, so she is getting out. And now she's going to hold her new baby vampire for the first time. Oh, oh, he's crying. Oh, look at his face. A little potato. All right, so we are going back home, and I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have Claudine and Thad, with their new baby, travel over to where Draculaura and Claude now live, which is in Forgotten Hollow. And I also, as I said earlier, I added Dracula and his wife, Elizabetha, and I think, uh, actually, all, all of his, his brides or whatever, um, are in Vlad's house now. So I think we're going to go ahead. She's still in her little pajamas. We're going to go ahead and have them travel. We're going to travel to Draculaura's house over at Forgotten Hollow. 
and here we go so we're gonna go over here travel we're gonna travel with dad and our new baby where's our new baby that would be a great idea if we had our baby with us <gasps> I don't see the option okay I'm, I'm hoping that they are okay well okay well I guess we can't take our baby <laughs> all right here we are at Forgotten Hollow without our new baby but anyways let's go ahead and knock on the door let's see if Dracula and Claude are here they should be I don't see why not so let's go over here all right so it looks like their their sons are here Vlad and Lance are here where's Dracula and Claude oh Dracula is here where's Claude is he at work or something? I don't know. It is Saturday. That's weird. Well, she's sleeping. I would feel horrible <laughs> to wake her up in the middle of the night. But we are going to go ahead and see if we can change our... Oh, no. Don't wake her up. I'm going to see if we can go ahead and change our um, positioning to be with Draculaura this time. All right. Let's just go to Manage Worlds and hopefully that will work. So that now Dracula can give birth to her baby. I need to figure out what's happening with Claude because I don't know where he is, if he's at work or if he's doing something else. Um, excuse me, sir. Uh, we need to know. So let's go over here to Forgotten Hollow. Where's Claude? It says he's at home, but I didn't see him. So I don't know what's going on, Claude. Where is he? Oh, he's at work. Okay, Lance was unsuccessful in his attempt. Where's Claudine going? Claudine, like seriously, you just gave birth and you're already doing your little jog? Dang, she's like, she has to get her body back in shape real quick. Okay, okay, I see you. Um, Alright, so she's gonna do a run, apparently. Dragula is over here, very pregnant, not sure what she's doing, so let's check this out. She is, uh, in, he's, oh, she's only in her first trimester. So, uh, she's got a long way to go, combating a cold um oh okay so we're gonna go ahead and see well maybe we should wait for for claude to come back home we're gonna do that we're gonna wait for claude to come back home uh where's that he's over here watching tv talking about cupcakes uh claudine is already you know jogging her way to getting her body back in shape um okay she's back here she definitely got back in shape in like two seconds so that's great claude brought home 43 simoleons are you serious like do you get paid two dollars an hour um wow okay then well he is here he's home now so perfect uh i suppose uh oh dracula is a little bit tired so i'm not sure i'm hoping that won't be too bad but they're both pretty good so let's go ahead and have dracula go over here we're gonna uh go to the mc command center and then we are going to put the pregnancy phase as in labor so that she is now in labor she's ready to go we also need to give her a little bassinet for her child so let's go ahead and do that oh my gosh so the previous episode i was like why is there so much garlic here the the lot name is literally called garlic lot tour please like wow um no wonder i was like why why is there so much like the anti-vampire uh household but anyways we got rid of all of the uh all of the garlic as much as we could anyways um what should we give for dracula laura i think i think i gave hmm Maybe, let's just go for something different, I guess. I don't know, maybe something light. Hmm. I'm gonna go for this one. Because, why not? And then we'll put it, uh, I guess we'll put it right here. <laughs> Alright, perfect, I guess, for now. Alright, so now we can go ahead and have her go to labor with Claude. Where is she going? Where is she going? Dracula, Dracula, okay. We don't have time for that right now. You need to have your baby at the hospital with Claude Wolf. So let's go. Let's do this. How is Claude doing? Hopefully he's all right. Is she going to travel to the hospital as a bat? <laughs> or what? What is going on, Draculaura? Right, okay. <laughs> I was like, what is going on? Okay. So we're going to go to the hospital with Draculaura and Claude. And then they can give birth to a vampire baby. So I'm excited to see that. And then we also need to check on Claudine's baby as well. I wanted them all to like be together, but that did not work. The game did not let me do that. So we're gonna have to go ahead and have them travel back over to Claude and Claudine and that's household so that we can see all of the babies together. Look at her, she's so sad. She's so sad. Okay, we're gonna go over here for once and check in because I usually never do that because I didn't even realize Lagoon is here. I wonder if Thad's gonna show up because he does work at the hospital as well. Will Thad show up 
Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Okay, so Draculaur, uh, please check in. Please, please. Thank you. I'm, I'm still looking. I'm still looking to see if Thad will show up because I think that would be kind of funny. All right, can we like check in please, ma'am? Like you take such a long time, Brandy. Can we please? Like, do you see her? She is in so much pain right now. Can we please have this happen? Okay, I am not see- Oh, Claude, Claude, are you okay? <laughs> he just like ran like crazy. He's like, oh my God, I've got to play Sims right now. No, <laughs> oh, Claude. I'm still waiting for her to check me in. Like, look at this. Like, are you serious? And I don't even see the doctor here. Like, where- Oh! Oh, the doctor's already here! Oh! Oh! Okay. Uh, that was fast. Um, whoa, hold your horses. Excuse me, you need to stop playing Sims, my boy. And you, t you need to come over here and, uh, you know, take care of your wife. That would be great. So, alright, so you guys know how the drill goes. He uses this weird contraption. Like, I don't even know how this is supposed to work, to be honest. What is he doing? He's, like, literally playing, like, cranes or something. Playing Tetris. I don't even know. Where's Claude? He's, like, casually walking around here. Um, I'm pretty sure the game is glitched because nothing is happening. Um, okay, yeah, just pretend that you care. Sure, Claude. Have fun with that. He's literally playing, like, video games <laughs> right now. And nothing is actually happening with the, um contraption here this machine but anyways all right hopefully this will actually work I is something gonna happen because i would really appreciate okay everybody is frozen right now so i'm i'm guessing that means that we're done <gasps> it's a girl oh my goodness okay so what should we name our new vampire girl i think i'm gonna actually go with dawn i think that would be really cute and then maybe we could have dawn and dusk the two half vampires uh become like lovers it <laughs> maybe in the future so let's go ahead and do that dawn and here she is oh so there she goes a little potato sleeping now let me check her eyelashes her her um eye sockets are a little bit dark not too much so i don't know if that's like a vampire thing or if i'm just like seeing things uh but anyways oh you see that like she's already there but then it puts another baby i'm so confused like that confuses me so much jackie laura has learned that danny is a doctor well <laughs> didn't take much to figure that one out so here she is with her baby oh so there she goes the new baby and uh there she goes as a bat not sure where she went but anyways oh what she went all the way over why <laughs> okay that was a little weird that was a little weird uh claude is like i don't know what happened to my wife so i'm running i'm running i'm scared for my life right now let me go ahead and get some snacks okay <laughs> we're gonna go back home and then we can go ahead and have the babies go in there i don't know if they're gonna do anything like differently i do know in the actual game pack it said that they won't actually show their vampireness uh until they become teenagers so or or is it children i think it's teenagers they won't actually show anything so we might have to do a makeover with some CC to give them some vampire teeth and whatnot but for right now for right now here is our new baby our baby Dawn and we need to go ahead and check on baby Dusk <laughs> from Claudine and Thad's household so we're gonna go ahead let's see if we can go to their household now we're gonna travel the interesting thing is that it doesn't give me the option to bring our baby with us so we can bring our children but we can't bring our baby like our newborn baby to travel over like i don't understand why that's a thing so we're just gonna have to do this in individual households you know jaguar is already asleep let me have claude come over here and he can talk to our new little baby well actually she is actually sleeping sound asleep so now what i can do hopefully what i can do now is uh change the relationship so that Draculaura can meet her parents um, and hopefully we can do that uh, what I need to do actually oh I didn't mean to click that what I need to do is actually go to manage world and then add them into the household so that hopefully they can change their relationships we can edit their relationships let's go back let's go back uh, and go to manage worlds just go to manage worlds that would be great okay so I added them in the household so that we could change this but for some reason it won't let me edit her as the daughter I don't know why and I have Draculaura I mean I have Dracula here as an adult and Draculaura is here as a young adult so it should work 
I'm not sure what's going on. Like, we should be able to make her their daughter, but it doesn't seem to be working. I just want to see what would happen if I did this for a moment, and then we tried to have her... No, it won't... It literally will not let me at all. So that's unfortunate. I don't know why it won't let me have them as the actual parents, but I guess we could just pretend. So as you can see, I have moved them all over here, just like in my Sims 4 Vampire series. So we have them here with Vladislaw Strahd. So here's Dracula, here is Elisabetta, here is Marguerite, and here is Ilona. So they're over there. We're gonna hopefully have them meet their parents, Dracula, Hopefully we can meet Dracula and Elisabetta, who are Draculaura's parents. They're still here. Oh, perfect. Perfect timing. So we might as well have them introduce. Let's have um Claude come over here. Let's make a vampire pun. <gasps> Ask to hang out. Yes. Ask to hang out. Ask both of them, please. That way Draculaura could hopefully meet her parents. Oh, there's Marguerite over there. <laughs> and there's Alona. They're trying to look for some new victims. I see. Perfect. Just exactly how... Oh, this guy is a little green. He's a little green. <laughs> All right. Okay, I can hang out for a bit. Perfect. Where's Dracula? Um, excuse me. Who are you? Excuse me, ma'am. You are not welcome here. I'm sorry. I am so sorry about it. Oh, what's happening? What is happening? Chatting with Elisabetta and Vlad. Where is Dracula? Where did he go? Oh no, I don't know where he went. I do not know where he went. Uh, excuse me, ma'am, where's your husband? Why is he sad? Oh no. New sibling, Lance is in tears after meeting a new sibling he didn't want. <gasps> oh my god. Why? Why are you being so mean? No, don't leave. All right, well, looks like we're not going to be able to meet uh, Draculaura's parents in this episode. Uh, hopefully in the next episode, Draculaura can meet her parents. And uh, I hope that you guys enjoyed this. But um, we did have two baby births. We have dawn and dusk. So we have to definitely go ahead. And in the next episode, we can maybe age them up and give them some new makeovers. Because they will become toddlers. So we can give them some like vampire toddler makeover. That would be really cool. Um, and hopefully Dracula can meet her parents in the next episode as well. But I hope that you guys enjoyed this. If you did, make sure to give this video a like. And if you're new, subscribe for some more Sims 4 Monster High and Sims 4 Vampires and more Sims 4 content. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video. <laughs> Bye, guys.